You might like The Empire Strikes Back, but here's a bunch of people who hated it. And by bunch, we mean 13. Dull film. Got totally bored watching this. I really can't see what all the fuss is about. Watched it a second time, unfortunately, as I thought perhaps I wasn't in the right mood, but no. It still bored me. Many say it's the best in the series, but I think it's the worst. Yes, even Phantom Menace is better than the highly overrated Dross. <laughs> I will probably watch the whole series back to back at some point, but not looking forward to having to sit through this one again. Hooray for Jar Jar. Although that one did have a really good fight with Darth Maul. I'll give him that. He needs to leave now. <laughs> I had a much better time taking my trash out than watching this garbage they call a movie. You're easy to please. Just, <laughs> just a man who loves to work. Either that, or you took out the trash for some ass. That's my better guess. <laughs> Why else would men take out the garbage? We'd be living in filth, never shaving, just covered in boils and soot, and we wouldn't care, but there's women around. We care now. I don't care if it was great during its time, with today's standards, it is even worse than Transformers. I was comparing George Lucas to Michael Bay. Someone with vision, and one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> you decide. You decide. The story is pretty terrible since the opening crawl. <laughs> Weird way of putting that. So the Empire could find the new rebel base, which was much better hidden than the first one, by just sending probes to the entire galaxy? Why didn't they do it in episode four rather than destroying an entire planet because Leia would not co cooperate? Well, you just answered your question because she wouldn't cooperate. That's why. And because they're villains. They did something villainous. Don't get mad if that like, it's not like the cartoons where they're like, I'm gonna do something terrible to make you talk, and then they tickle your feet. Although watching Darth Vader tickle Princess Leia's feet might be cool. But again, in today's climate, in the things going on Hollywood, on in Hollywood, we don't want Darth Vader pulling a wine stain. It would be rather easier. Besides, Leia and Han's romance is terrible. They were never fit for each other, and the writers just tried too hard to make it work. It didn't. Their dialogues are just awful. Obi-Wan's ghost also, wait. You don't approve of the relationship. <laughs> it didn't even come off as, as you saying the writing was poor. You just don't approve. They're just not a good fit. They just, mm, no. Obi-Wan's ghost also makes the story feel so forced. I'm done. I'm done with it. I don't want to read this anymore. You, I know you didn't mean to say forced, but, it, but if you did, fuck you for making me read that. Oh God. There's more, but I'm done. I'm done. For many, this is considered to be the best Star Wars movie of all time, but quite frankly, it bored me. Han Solo and Princess Leia one minute hate each other, the next they're in love, and huge escape scenes seem to rely on something not working one second and the next is back to normal. Totally daft and acting from Han Solo feels forced. <laughs> You're fun. Uh, as Chewie becomes annoying. <laughs> Welcome to every relationship everyone ever has. <laughs> Except Han and Leia because theirs was forced. <laughs> and written. They get along one moment and then don't get along another? How is that even a relationship? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Easily the weakest of the original trilogy, as very little actually happens. There is a battle on Hoth. Luke goes to Dagobah to see Yoda. Han goes to Cloud City and has dinner with Darth Vader. No, seriously, he does. <laughs> then, then, then Luke goes to Cloud City and has his hand chopped off. The end. You missed some stuff. You missed some stuff, like he totally finds out Darth Vader's his father. Spoilers. Also, I mean, you could do this with anything. Like, Luke goes to Dagobah to see Yoda. Like, he just walked to the store. He's like, hey, Yoda. Just here to grab some chips. Oh, you're getting a coffee? Cool. Later, Yoda. No. It was like a pilgrimage to learn things. It's like, I mean, you could do that with the passion of the Christ. Some guy does a bunch of walking and talking to a bunch of people. There's a lot of nice conversations. Then they're mean to him. And then he dies. The end. Or is it? <laughs> he dies at the end, spoilers. He dies at the end. <laughs> but he doesn't. <laughs> you find out God's Jesus is father? What? He has two dads? 
the hey. LGBT community was right. right. <laughs> a messy, non-complete film. Weird. The, it's a trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also, you know, the one in the middle. It didn't start or finish anything. It just kind of continued something and then just kind of like... It would be funny if they turned the movie off not realizing it was still buffering. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it felt incomplete. I'm sorry of this negative impact of such a successful movie, but I just don't enjoy this franchise. Although this has one of the most unforgettable moments of cinematic history in I still just yawned. I'm sorry, but I just dislike the whole Star Wars thing. Well, you're, you're a, a prime candidate to not watch this movie or review it because you already don't like it. But also, I really want to know what the most unforgettable moment in cinematic history is. Or did you forget and is that why you didn't write it? <laughs> was led to believe that this is the best film in the entire saga. But for some reason, I just did not connect with the story at all. I found myself bored for the majority of this film. At least you're honest. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> and that's me being honest. <laughs> this movie is bad because no military strategist would ever land troops on a planet like Hoth. You <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that no military strategist would land troops on another planet? We've never done it. We don't know what we'd do. Unless unless you know something I don't know. I don't know if you have like one of those trailers covered in tinfoil that sees more than me. You would just bomb the surface or destroy the entire planet and boom, you have the end of that line of the story. Well, uh one of the guys earlier was very upset with that plot point in the first movie, so I guess watch that one. For years, the most popular movie on the saga due to the I'm your father moment. Oh, that's the scene that they were talking about in your comment. I'm glad we remember. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Full of nonsense scenes with very slow pace for what a Star Wars movie should be. Hoth is boring and the combat tactics lame. Same as all the training scenes at Dagobah or Cloud City. No emotion, just a boring film. No emotion? No. That's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do people care so much about military st strategies in a f***ing space opera? <laughs> like, what is going on? I mean, everyone's watching Grey's Anatomy thinking that's how hospital work and just cream in their jeans after after McDreamy or whatever. And, but the space opera comes out and you don't like the military tactics? Like, f*** you. <laughs> <laughs> and massively, very, 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 very overrated movie, The Empire Strikes Back isn't greatest movie ever made. Not even close. I saw this movie two days ago in streaming and that's really so boring with the dull act action and acted except Harrison Ford. I'm surprised you spelled Harrison Ford right based on how you wrote everything. So boring with the dull action and acted. I just want to like run up to people and yell that and like target. <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me so much. Just, there's just something about like running up to a woman shopping with her two unruly children and me just being like, so boring with the action and acted. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> I don't know where the end mill is. What's that phrase? Tell someone you love them because life is short, but yell at them, yell it at them in German because it's also confusing and scary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this movie only has one good thing about it, and that is the no, I am your father line. No, that's not true. That's impossible. Can <laughs> <laughs> you just point out the fact that like, your favorite part of the movie doesn't happen unless the rest of the movie happens. Like that part would suck if there was no context whatsoever. Like if you just turned on a movie and someone just went, no, I'm your father. You wouldn't be like, oh my God. You'd be like, I guess that guy's his dad. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell right next to it. Also leave in the comments, is Empire your favorite Star Wars movie? Is it the worst? Let us know. We'd love to hear what you think. And until we see you guys next time, geek out and game on. <laughs>